Hello, everybody, Final Chase here, and I just found an apple gel on Let's Play Tales of Symphonia. Anyways, there's some treasure over here, a life bottle, and a bit of money. Um, actually, those two chests that I did miss on the side paths, um, I think were a life bottle and some apple juice, or, and a magic lens. Uh, magic lenses are in the Final Fantasy, is basically in the Final Fantasy series, is a comparison the Libra spell. Except you don't figure out weaknesses and strengths in this version, in this game. Um, Vesperia does. Vesperia does do this, and it is quite nice to know. Uh, okay, well, weaknesses really aren't that big of a deal, but mainly for this game, I use them to figure out how much HP the boss has left to know what I need to do or what I don't need to do. That's honestly the only reason I use them. So, anyways, go up here. Use the ring. And problem solved. Yeah. Eh. Jeez, Lloyd, you're like a little chinchilla on caffeine. That's what one of my teachers used to say a lot. It was quite funny, so I kind of inherited for some reason. This appears to be the top floor. There was only like three yes, floors in this place. The altar. Okay. Then that shining thing there must be the Crucius crystal. Yeah, looks like it. That's right. They say I was born with that in my hand. Right. I don't Look see that. Light. Woo, lights. Oh. A celestial light. Hmm. Right. Um, Flan? Is that you? No, that's not Flan, actually. Oh. I was getting excited. Love that game series. What is that? Looks like an angel. An angel, I would assume. Looks like so, it. Is that Colette's real father? I seriously doubt that. I am Remiel. Oh. I am an angel of judgment. I am here to guide Colette, daughter of the Mana lineage, on her journey to heaven as the seventh chosen. Only seventh? Huh. For some reason, I thought it was more. Eh. The time has come to awaken the goddess Martell, who sleeps at the center of the world. Awaken the eh. goddess Martell? It's just like the legend Rain told us about! Which she so conveniently was talking about just earlier today! Ooh! So she now has a crystal on her necklace. Yay! She has a new necklace. Look at that. From this moment, Colette becomes the chosen of regeneration. Or that? Uh, I think it's just a fancy piece of jewelry. Bless this event, and hereby bestow the Tower of Salvation upon Silverant. I guess that's the, what this world is called. Okay. Ooh, pretty. It's a gigantic thin tower it doesn't look very stable at all looks like uh, if someone pushed on it wrong it would collapse completely and I mean it it really doesn't look like it's that well designed it's a gigantic thin tower so the tower of salvation now the world will be saved Colette the chosen of regeneration Unlock the seals that guard the Tower of Salvation, and climb its stairs to heaven in distant lands. There are four of them, aren't there? There so are. I humbly accept this task. Very good. We of Crucius Sorry shall about grant the, uh, you the power of the sirens outside. Each seal you unlock. Once you are reborn as an angel, this eroded world shall be regenerated. Okay, Thank sounds you. good. I swear on my life I will regenerate the world. Alright. First, head south to the Seal of Fire. Offer your prayers in that distant land. It's not that far. Yes, Lord Remio. Or at oh, least, wait. I think. Please wait. I have a question I wish to ask of you. Are you okay. really my father? First, head to the Seal of Fire. Understood. 
my beloved daughter Colette. I seriously don't see the resemblance. F father So you really are my true father. Colette, I really don't see it. We shall meet again at the next seal, my daughter. <sighs> What's next, Colette? You're gonna like go into like some kind of weird vehicle because they offered you candy? You know, I wouldn't put that past her actually. I'm sorry, I seriously could see her doing it. Uh, what do you have to say, Colette? Uh, okay. I didn't really want to do that, but... Okay. Alright, alright. Sounds good. Yep. Alright. Well, I guess we will. Yeah? What rumor are you talking about there, Genus? Oh. Yeah. But, I suppose it makes sense considering you have Dwarven vows or something. Okay, back to like some weird little graphical glitches. I had one time like in the very first scene, like, you know, where Collide actually trips at the end? Like, whenever we first got here? That scene, Lydia was doing a little sweating animation for like almost the entire dungeon. It was actually really weird. Oh. Hi, Rain. Um. Oh. Um. Yeah. I mean, no. I mean, yeah. Yeah, we were. Um. Wait. Alright, uh, old disciplines not used very often these days. Um. Are you okay, Genus? Um, ow! Boot to the head. Ow, jeez. Um. Give Lloyd like five minutes. He will gain reconsciousness. Oh, jeez. Oh. It, yeah, I suppose. Just, Lloyd, are are you sure you're okay? I mean, you just took a foot to the face. Uh, should we figure out what that was? Okay, now I'm just more worried. Uh, just ignore the crazy laughter in the background. <laughs> oh god, what was that? Uh, I'm sure it won't be a big deal at all. Not at all. Uh... Yeah, some of these monsters will chase after you. Most won't. Alright, it's kind of annoying now because you don't have really anyone helping you out. And really makes this part of the game kind of the most difficult part of the game, in my opinion. As much as I hate to say it, the early portion of the game is actually the most difficult, it's mainly because you don't have really anyone to help you out. I mean, yeah, you have Genus, but he only helps out so much. You're doing most of the work. He has to kind of say in the background, you're almost alone. Uh, as you can tell, I really don't use Genus that much. Actually, let me go here. Uh, yeah, look at this. Ten hours! And I completed the game. Uh, nine, because I like the number nine in a way. And it's actually relevant to something. Well, I won't be playing a game that has a number nine in it. Anybody that actually knows it. Well, I've been watching a couple of those things. Related to nine. The actual number, not the German term for no. At least then, I think it was. We shall entrust the protection of the chosen to Kratos and Rain. I have no objections. Hey. Thank you so much for your help earlier. Yeah, she proved useful. Oh, you're back. Thank you for your assistance earlier. Please accept this small thanks. You don't have to, but thank you. Uh, look. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Thanks, Phydra. I don't know if Lloyd's actually going to look at the book, Say. but hey. 
Were you talking about the world regeneration journey just now? Maybe. Yes. Wow. I want to go too. I want to see Colette regenerate the world. If Rain is going, I want to go too. They are siblings, so it makes no, sense. You'll get in the way. Oh, what? really? What? The battles at the chapel were nothing compared to the journey that awaits us. Children need to stay at home. Uh -huh. Protoss is absolutely right. Now then, we still have things to discuss. You two should go on home. Please wait. And she trips again. I'm sorry. It's not like it's your fault. Oh yeah. yeah. I'm sorry. Okay, Listen. seriously. <sighs> Never mind. Enough with the sorries. Oh, yeah. Happy birthday, Colette. What? I baked you some cookies. If I knew you'd be leaving tomorrow, I would have made something a little more special, but... Uh. No, no, I love your cookies. Thank you very much. Cookies, so what I about love you, cookies. Lloyd? You promised to make her a necklace, right? Uh... <laughs> but she already has one. Don't tell one. me you forgot. How about a bracelet? Uh, it's, it's almost done. Uh, I'll give it to you tomorrow before you leave. I swear. Uh -huh. Really? I'm so happy. As soon as I find out when we're leaving, I'll go to your house to let you know. Oh, okay. Isn't it going to be dangerous? I'm the Chosen, remember? I'll be fine. See you later, then. Uh-huh. Well, that sounds nice. Let's just gonna... Liar. See us start off. on it now, I'll finish it in time. <laughs> Lloyd, oh, you're horrible really? about this. Well, whatever. By the way, you're going home now, right? Can I go part of the way with you? Oh. Sure. But where are you going to go? I'm going to see a friend. A huh? friend? I didn't know you had friends outside the village besides me. Does it matter? Anyway, can we swing by my house uh, so I can get my stuff? Sure. What are we going for? Mm. Oh well. Anyways, the house is over here. It's a weird house. It's weirdly off the beaten path, but hey, you can tell by this. Sure, sure. Okay, well, since you offered. Time to go in the house. Ingredients for sandwiches. Um, eating. Ah, <sighs> yep. No, no. You'll just... Uh, after every battle, you can have the option to cook. Right now you only have one option because cooking sandwiches are apparently the hardest thing in the world to do. Because, you know, pieces of bread on top of each other with stuff in the middle is apparently so difficult. You'll know what I mean later. Noish. Oh, it's like a dog with pointy flappy ears. Huh. Well, sounds very useful. Oh? Yeah, what is it? Northwest forest that we always have to go through. There's enemies there, aren't there? No, not at all. Uh, I see no reason why we should. Uh, sure, he's a dog. Uh. Noish. Hmm. Oh yeah, it was probably later than normal. He actually got off. Eh, whatever. Anyways, a little out of Asalia. Um. Yeah, I'm just gonna call this an episode here. Anyways, in the next episode, we'll be going to that northwest forest to, in order to go wherever Genus needs to go and take Lloyd back to his house. I'll see you guys then. Until then, I'll see you guys later.